Hi everyone, today I'm here with two friends, James, who you would have seen before, and my office mate, Chi. Um, so they both know quite a bit about quantum mechanics actually, and that's going to be the topic of this video. So for James, his PhD is in a quantum mechanics area, Yep. and do you want to say a little so bit? It's experimental based quantum mechanics, specifically in quantum communication and information. Yep, and she like tutors a course in quantum mechanics and might have a bit of perspective there. You're also a PhD student. Yep. Do you want to say one sentence about what your work is? Um, I work with silicon and I'm trying to make it absorb infrared. Alright, so this video was inspired by a few quotes um, that we've all seen regarding the possibility, I guess, of understanding quantum mechanics. So one of the quotes I know is from Richard Feynman, and it was that he said, it's safe to say that nobody understands quantum mechanics. So I thought I'd ask you guys what you think of that. Well, in some respects, I would say it's true. People don't understand the reason why quantized particles act the way they do, why basically particles act as a wave and a particle. However, I would also say that any actual quantum physicist understands the mathematics behind how the particles act. So, in a sense, they do understand quantum mechanics, they just don't understand why it's quantum mechanics. Mm. Do you think it's possible to understand quantum mechanics? It depends how you define understand, but if you just think about... Um, if you understand quantum mechanics in a mathematical way and accept that at that level, everything is quantum mechanical and it behaves differently from the microscopic world, then yes, you can definitely understand quantum mechanics. But if you want to understand why at that level, things like tunneling and quantum mechanic -y things can happen, then no, definitely nobody understands mm. quantum mechanics. Yeah. Like the quantum mechanics that someone would learn in, say, undergrad, mm -hmm. is that just a mathematical abstraction of quantum mechanics that like a version of quantum mechanics that is easy to understand, do you think? I would say that in general, in undergrad, I think they start with the maths, mm. just because it's just easier to start with the maths. And I think, in at least for me, I think I started with doing the maths and just mechanically doing all the um, operators and stuff and learning how to solve Schrodinger's equa equation mm. and some sort of potential, but then I never really physically understood what was happening. And yeah. I guess in third year or in parts of fourth year, I started to really try to understand it physically, but fail as everybody do. So, um, but do you think you've got somewhere to like a physical understanding? Um, more physical than before, yes, but nowhere, mm -hmm. not not like physically understand why an electron behaves that way. Yeah. yeah. No, I, like, I agree that I think the physical understanding is quite difficult, but I think I've heard this quote used as sort of a misconception mm -hmm. from students who are like, well, maybe they did bad on a quantum mechanics test, and they're like, oh, that's fine, no one understands quantum mechanics anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but that's sort of taking it out of context. That's not what the quote means. It doesn't yes. mean you can't understand the maths, which is probably what you were asked to do on the test. It means you know, we have this mathematical description. You can learn this, and you can do well at this. Um, regardless of that physical intuition behind it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And students shouldn't be discouraged by that quote, thinking that, oh, I will never understand quantum mechanics because nobody would ever understand quantum mm. mechanics. That's not what the quote means. The quote means, learn the maths, be confused, and eventually you will understand why you were confused. Mm. I think that's what yeah, the quote yeah. is supposed to convey. Because to extend on that, when you're first starting with quantum mechanics, it's an actual quantum system is very confusing. There's a lot of, say, particles interacting with each other and slightly shifting the way that the system behaves. So when you're first starting off, it's easy to take one particle, put it in a simple box and say, how does this work? How do the energy level structures behave and such? And even in a simplified case, it can still be confusing to understand why it physically happens. Yeah. Because it's yeah. just different. Yeah. Mm. But then once you've built up that understanding, you can take it to, say, actually looking at an atom with energy levels and you can say, okay, the energy levels behave like this in this sort of structure. This is similar to the box. There's just a lot more factors you need to mm. take into account. Because mm. there was another version of this quote we were talking about earlier. Um, yeah. 
John Wheeler, was that? <laughs> do you have that one there? John Wheeler, and I believe I have the quote up here still. It is, if you're not completely confused by quantum mechanics, you do not understand it. Mm. Yeah, so I guess we're saying um, it's, it's sort of natural to be confused by the physical intuition, but allow yourself you to be confused. Aspects. Allow yourself to just completely not understand what's going on, immerse yourself in it, and eventually you may find some understanding. And the fact that you were confused is, it's kind of an indication that you are thinking in the right direction. You're actually actively trying to understand and failing just as everybody does, mm -hmm. instead of just accepting the maths and not thinking of it very much and yeah. thinking that you understand when you haven't actually thought about it. Because so, yeah. it does make sense to be confused because up until this point you would have been doing, say, low-level thermodynamics, mechanics, and things that take place in the macroscopic world where you can throw a ball, watch it fly, and you can say, okay, that makes a parabola, this makes sense to me. Then when you get down to the um, quantum world, I don't really like that quote, but sure. <laughs> Once you get down into the very small scales, you can't imagine, say, throwing an electron at a wall and watching it tunnel through the wall. That doesn't make sense to you because you don't live in that sort of realm. That doesn't happen on a day-to-day -day basis. You need to get your head around this new world with new rules, basically. Mm. Yeah, I think it's hard to understand things that we don't see. Like yeah. A lot of yeah. physical intuition is based on what we see and know. Mm. So if we were to live in a quantum, in, in that scale, then intuition will be very different, and whatever we see, like a ball um, going through a parabolic trajectory would be counterintuitive, I guess, mm. in that sense. But we don't live in that scale, so yeah. that's why it's counterintuitive for us. Do you think you'd have any advice for like undergrad students in quantum other than just to stick with it and like try to get that physical understanding? Um, like how did I get to that point? <laughs> I'll just say you'll get there eventually as long as you try. Um, don't give up. Mm. <laughs> Definitely don't give up and don't accept that it's something that you can't understand. Yeah. Just try your best to understand it and you'll eventually see that there's really nothing to understand. <laughs> It's actually a quote I read from somewhere on Wikipedia, but somebody said that before, and I think it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Mm. Once any, you get any advice from you? Uh, yeah, stick with it. Basically, allow yourself to... I would... Actually, no, I'd say you would have to fight against the idea that you have to try and visualize what's going on. Don't try and visualize putting a particle in a box and seeing what happens. Just allow yourself to understand the basic idea maybe try and read up on some actual real-world examples, but they are going to be quite confusing and possibly over your head if you're not in the sort of third year or beyond university level. Even in third year or fourth year, you'll be continuously bombarded with new quantum ideas yeah. that you would just not understand, and, and, and you go through the same process again, just with a more complicated problem and more... Not necessarily more counterintuitive, but still as confusing and an idea that makes you feel incredibly uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you're reading on this, still just to understand the system, they'll throw a whole bunch of mathematics at you, a whole bunch of mm -hmm. matrices and symbols that are really quite confusing and daunting when you first look at it. And it takes a long time to sort of just read through that and yeah. start to understand what these matrices mean mm -hmm. and what having non-diagonal elements in a matrix means and what the diagonal elements do. Mm -hmm to the system. Yeah, I guess don't be afraid to feel uncomfortable with it. <laughs> Which seems to go with a lot of learning difficult physics. Yeah, yeah a lot of learning physics. Yeah. All right, thanks guys. Yeah, thanks. no worries.